Hi, my name is Courtney Cunningham. I'm with the Chatham Emergency Management Agency. June 1st began hurricane season in Chatham County, and one of the things that you need to do to prepare for hurricane season is to create a family disaster supply kit. Now this kit is something that you can put together over a six month period. You can start working on it now to ensure that you'll be ready in August or September when the chances are higher for a hurricane to affect Chatham County. Now I have my disaster supply kit here for my family and I'm just going to go through a couple of items that we have in here uh, that are essentials for putting together a disaster supply kit. Now my kit's a little bit large. Uh, this is to sustain two people if we have to evacuate. Uh, I have extra water, but just for space purposes, I didn't put it out here, but I have three gallons of water. This would be for me. Um, you want to pack your disaster supply kit so that you can sustain for three to five days without having to rely on anyone else. Uh, we have a blanket to wrap up with. Uh, just for uh, comfort purposes, I do purchase a raft. It's a little float. I know that sounds very strange, but I would much prefer to have to sleep on this with a blanket rather than on the floor. Um, I've got some dry bags that I put my clothes in to make sure that they don't get wet for any reason or another. I have an essential first aid kit. Uh, even if you're not don't have a disaster supply kit together, a first aid kit is necessary for your home for your safety. Uh, I have maps. Uh, a lot of people ask me about the maps. Um, I keep maps of Chatham County because I'm not from this area, but also of the state and of the U.S. If I need to evacuate outside of Savannah and I don't want to go to Atlanta or someplace like that, I want to go out, out of state, I need to have a map to know where I'm going. Also, this notifies you of the counties that you're going through. So if you have a severe weather awareness or severe weather alert, such as a thunderstorm or tornadoes in a certain county, this will allow you to know if the county that you're in at that time is being affected. Speaking of severe weather, uh, it's always a good idea to have a weather radio. Uh, the weather radios come in different shapes and forms. You want to get a weather radio that has SAME technology, S-A-M-E technology. That way you can program it so that it alerts you to just things going on in your area, such as Chatham County. Duct tape, essential for anywhere you go. I rely heavily on duct tape. Uh, I have in here is basically my toiletries bag. I have a sample of pretty much everything. Toothpaste, toilet paper, deodorant, face wash, uh, razors, stuff for contacts. I even actually have airborne in here just to make sure that I stay healthy. Uh, I have a lot of different canned foods that if I need to eat, I don't have to preheat them or anything. I could eat them just like this. It might be a little nasty, but at least I could do it. And of course, the manual can opener. Can't forget that because you won't be able to get into those cans. A uh, flashlight with an extra battery is essential. Uh, you can get these for pretty cheap in Walmart. Uh, I think I found paid about $3 for this one with the extra battery. So hopefully it won't die on me right when I need it. I have a change jar in here. Um, with the chain, you have to remember that if you're in a hurricane zone or area, uh, the electricity goes out the AT ATMs are not going to be working. And so you need to have extra cash, extra change on you to make sure that you can get by without having to rely too heavily on a bank. Speaking of extra change, in here I have a waterproof, watertight box. This is where all my important documents go. I've actually um, videotaped all of the items in my house. Uh, for insurance purposes. Uh, basically every single item in my house I've gone through it and if my house is damaged for flooding or hurricane I'll at least be able to sh and show my insurance agent here's my tape this is the items that were ruined in my house. Also in this box uh, I keep extra cash, I keep uh, credit cards, 
passport, immunization records, extra prescriptions um, that my doctor has filled out for me just in case that I need to fill them at any time. And last but least, the one thing I'll show you is some paper towels. I also have some toilet paper in here. Essential items, you don't think about it at the time when you're packing your disaster supply kit, but when it comes down to it, these are things that you really don't want to have to live without.